Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm super excited to continue the main storyline and take you on a full guide to the Water Temple. We'll be defeating the notorious Mukturak, also known as the Scourge of the Water Temple, meeting the former Sage of Water, and uncovering some fascinating details about the Imprisoning War. So, let's dive right in. To kick things off, I stumbled upon something strange while trying to activate the upland Zorana Skyview Tower. There was this poor Zora man trapped in a weird substance called sludge. He asked me for help, so I used the cleanest water I could find to wash it away. And guess what? As a token of his gratitude, he gave me the mighty Zora Spear. How cool is that? <laughs> After freeing the trapped Zora man, I finally managed to open the tower entrance and activate it, which rewarded me with a handy map. As I continued my journey, I came across a kind Zora lady who advised me to go see Prince Sidon and discuss the current situation. Intrigued, I made my way to Mypha Court on Ploymus Mountain. my friend. <laughs> I briefed Prince Sidon about the dire circumstances at Hyrule Castle. No! And he expressed his concern for the safety of Zora Domain. Mm. He instructed me to meet Lady Yona, who has been entrusted with the Domain's well-being. Mm? Surprisingly, she didn't recognize me at first. But after washing away some sludge from a statue that depicted Link and Sidon's heroic rescue of the domain. Whoa. Ah! She finally realized who I was. Ah! Oh? Lady Yona introduced herself and urged me to visit Prince Sidon once more to plan our next steps. Mm -hmm. He informed me about a Zora historian named Giotto, who is currently investigating ruined fragments and documents related to the sky. Mm. However, he couldn't leave his location, so I volunteered to help. Mm. Arriving at the specified location, I discovered that the fragment was damaged. But fear yeah. not, I managed to fix it with ease. <gasps> Giotto read the fragment for me, mm. and it mentioned something called the Mark of the King. Giotto suggested that it might have something to do with King Dorfan, the Zora King. Mm -hmm. So I sought out this kind Zora lady who might know the king's whereabouts. Huh? She informed me that the king should be back at Zora Domain by now. Ah. Returning to Zora Domain, ah. I discovered that nobody had any information about King Dorfan. Oh. However, this lady hey. revealed that some children were playing a game that involved pretending to be King Dorfan. Huh. They might hold the key to finding him. <laughs> but they were keeping it a secret from adults. Ah. Determined to uncover their secret, I used my Ascend power to eavesdrop on their conversation. <laughs> Success! The children mentioned a secret place between Plymouth Mountain and the Domain, marked on the map. Mm. After searching the area, I stumbled upon the pristine sanctum. where I finally found King Dorfan. Unfortunately, he had been attacked by a sludge monster and was badly injured. I informed him about my visit to Giotto and shared information about the mark of the king. In return, he gave me some valuable items. With the new information from Giotto, I learned how to open a secret passage. <laughs> However, to proceed further, I needed my trusty Zora armor, which required repairs. <laughs> so I asked this kind lady again about my Zora armor uh. and she told me that Lady Yona could repair it. Uh. Lady Yona willingly offered her assistance in fixing it. Oh. She needed an ancient arowana for the repairs, and luckily, I happened to have one on hand. Whoa. 
Once I retrieved my repaired Zora armor, yes, yes. I was ready to tackle the next challenges. According to the fragment, I had to shoot an arrow with the mark of the king through a droplet on the land of the skyfish. So I did it. I solved the puzzle and proceeded to talk to Prince Sidon. Oh. But just as I was about to do so, something unexpected happened. There was a conversation between Sidon and his beloved Yona that I'll skip for now and bring you up to speed on this part. I have an idea. In this area, our main objective is to destroy the rocks blocking the flow of water, raising its level.
In the remainder of the video, I'll be sharing with you the captivating cutscenes and fascinating mechanisms that I encountered on my way to the temple. We'll need to utilize various mechanisms and harness the power of water to reach the water temple. This is the source of the pure waters of Zora's domain. Use your power to turn on the four faucets and you can collect water here.
sludge dissolved. The domain is surely safe now. Huh? Not good. must be responsible. Get ready. Let's go, Lee. Take it from here, Lee. Sidon, my cherished kin. That voice again. You're the one we've been hearing this whole time? Indeed. I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a Zora warrior and a sage who, like you, could direct the flow of water. You are the pride of the Zora. Your fluid, graceful movements as you fight. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. 
You bested the monster that sullied our domain, but it was a servant of a greater evil, the Demon King. His true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining the stone that you just found. My secret stone. That stone that you are wearing? Yes, and it is important you know more about the stone and the Demon King. So listen closely to what I have to say. It concerns the imprisoning war and the destiny of our people. Though we Zora live long lives, this all happened in a time ancient even to us. The Kingdom of Hyrule was still in its infancy. A great evil, the Demon King appeared. He invaded Hyrule and sought to cut the new kingdom's time short. But Rahu, the first king of Hyrule, brought me and five other warriors together to oppose him. To fight the Demon King, Rahu entrusted us with secret stones. Treasured artifacts that amplify the power of those who carry them. As the Sage of Water, I bore a secret stone and fought alongside my fellow sages in battle. However, the Demon King's power was overwhelming. Even my strongest defenses could not stop his ferocious attacks. In the end, our leader realized it would not be possible to defeat the Demon King outright. He chose to end the battle by sealing the Demon King away, sacrificing himself in the process. So that was the imprisoning war. Some time later, another of the six sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit me and the destiny of the Zora was made crystal clear. magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that happens, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. We must help. Lend him your power. He will need the Zora's control over water. The course of the Zora's future was clear. It would be our honor to aid in defeating the Demon King. I swear to you that, when the great evil returns, the Zora Sage of Water will awaken once more. The Zora people and their sage will fight alongside your swordsman. That is everything there is to share of the imprisoning war and of the destiny of the Zora. Zora's domain is once again safe thanks to you. However, the Demon King continues to threaten all of Hyrule. Sidon, my cherished kin, you must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time. Fight alongside the Swordsman, Link. It's my destiny to fight, by your side. <sighs> I came here so that I could save Sora's domain. But it looks like all of Hyrule will need my help. I'll do all I can, just as my ancestor did. I will accept this secret stone. of water. Behold, this is my new power.
Kaidan, the Sage of Water, swear that I will fight by your side. Please accept this. It is proof of my vow. With that ring, you will always have my power with you. We're partnered up again. Yes. All right. Let's head back home. Thanks for watching. <laughs>